getting. We'll see how she pours. All right. Even though. Yeah, it was either that or OG. What's an OG? Hi, this is Redneck Ramblings. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have what I hope is a very unique beer. This is a uh, English barley wine. It's OG 1111. It is uh, brewed and bottled by, uh, I'm going to butcher that name, uh, Bira del Carobiolo in Italy. And uh, it's uh, brewed AD 2015, re-fermented. 13% alcohol by volume. 75 IBUs interesting looking bottle and I only have one of these so good or bad this is the review you're getting let's see how she pours all right even though as dark as it is, you can see it is definitely cloudy. Look at that. It's got an interesting color to it, though. It definitely has a head on it, but it's uh, it's so cloudy in there. You can see the bubbles are not really uh, escaping like they would in uh, a lot of beers. Very interesting. That tells me that it might be kind of thick. Let's see what she smells like. Wow. Mmm. It almost has a... Uh, it definitely has kind of a uh, whiskey odor to it. Now, I don't know um, what they age these in. I don't know if this is a bourbon barrel aged or not. But it is uh, technically an ale. Let's sample it. Wow. Wow. That is a very unique flavor. I can't say that I've ever had one quite like that. And if you're watching it, it means I liked it. It's, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. It definitely has a, uh, I don't want to say a bourbon over flavor because it's not bourbon. Um, it's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a scotch, kind of over, over note to it. It has this uh, kind of a grainy essence in the background, and it's sweet. It almost has a subtle berry type flavor to it. Wow, that is such an interesting flavor. There's just so much in that. There's so much flavor in that. Uh, AO product of Italy. And I think they actually tells you here who uh, imported it. I thought it did. Uh, here we go. Imported by United International out of Connecticut. Interesting. I'll tell you what, I'm glad they imported it. That is such a complex beer. Mm, 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 mm. Man. I may have to go buy another one of those. I only bought one because they're a little pricey, but that is such an interesting flavor. I can honestly tell you, I have never had a beer with that flavor profile ever in my life. It is good. I like it. I would drink a second one and a third one. Well, maybe not in a row, but uh, it is very thick. It's very creamy. It's got a, a, a nice thick texture to it. And it's sweet. It has a sweetness to it that it's, uh, it almost comes off like a berry. Mm -mm, I like it. It's good. Um, kind of wish I would have bought a second one now, but I will have to get another one. That's it. I got to get another one. 
It's been Redneck Ramblings. If you like this video, click that little thumbs up button down below. I definitely try that if you ever see it available in a store near you. And uh, click on the subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And there's a little bell icon to be notified. That's it. It's good. Period. I like it. Buy it if you see it. It is not widely available. Made in Italy. Thank you. And you have a good night. So ill. OG motherfucker. <laughs>